Okay, so trying to do this as a homework assignment. Yay. So the assignment was I had to take ideas from, and I had a couple different options I chose um, from the Negro Artist and the Racial Mountain uh, by Langston Hughes, and um, apply those ideas to. Um, out a few different options, I chose a poem by Langston Hughes, uh, Mulatto. So let's start with a poem, um, which is over here. So first of all, a mulatto refers to someone who is mixed race, and this poem is basically about people who are, or youngsters, kids, uh, bastard boys, who are mixed race, who are going and saying, hey, you, uh, I'm your son, recognize this, and that's actually the very first line of the poem, I'm your son, white man. Uh, this isn't received well, <laughs> but first I want to um, talk about the word yellow and how it's used. Uh, the word yellow is used to describe both stars and the bastard boys. So first of all, stars. Let's talk about stars. Uh, what are stars? Stars are forces of nature that are just there and you don't think about them unless you're using them to navigate and figure out, well, unless you're doing science type stuff, but um, you they're just there. You don't necessarily think about them, but you can use them to navigate and figure out how to get where you're going. And so basically in comparing, um, there's so many bugs out here, <laughs> in comparing these uh, bastard boys, uh, the mulatto children, um, I might have been saying that right, I don't know. Anyways, to stars, uh, it's basically like, hey, we're expecting you to just be there, seen but not heard, and so the response that the bastard boys get when they say, hey, I am your son, I am your brother, is the same response. It, they're the white men, the, the, the white fathers, the white brothers are as shocked as if a star spoke up and said, hey, hi. Um, and the response is basically, go back to your place. No, this is... You aren't supposed to be speaking up and doing this. Um, sorry, noise. Anyways, um, and this interpretation is further supported by the line, the bright, the bright stars scatter everywhere. Um, and actually notes it down in here. Uh, the bastard boys refusing to be kept in their place. Um, so yeah, basically, the uh, fact that you get mixed race kids is kind of just seen as a fact of life and they are supposed to just be there but not speak up. But it's really about the, uh, the mixed race kids refusing to be put in their place. So then, going back to Langston Hughes, uh, the poem was also likes to use. Anyways, uh, first of all, I just kind of like want to share a couple of quotes. Uh, one of the most promising of the young Negro poets once said to me, uh, said to me once, I want to be a poet, not a Negro poet, meaning, I believe, I want to write like a white poet, meaning subconsciously, I would like to be a white poet, meaning behind that, I would like to be white. And I was sorry the young man said that, for no, great, for no great poet has ever been afraid of being himself. So basically, if you are going to be the best version of yourself, if you are going to achieve your full potential, so it's getting a bit too bright, um, you need to be able to embrace who you are and not be ashamed of it. Um, meaning, if you're black, you need to be able to say, okay, I'm black this, I'm a black poet, I'm a black person, whatever. Um, and then I also wanted to share a, another little bit. Um, we build our temples for tomorrow, strong as we know how. And we stand on top of the mountain, free within ourselves. Uh, 
basically, oh, how did I word that when I was explaining it? Um, I did a lot of free writing. I'm not even sharing with you everything I wrote. <laughs> and writing honestly as a black writer, showing both the good and the bad that is part of existing as such, uh, Hughes argues with that particular quote that you have to stand in who you are to have freedom. And then also when I was going over these again to make sure I knew what I was talking about before sitting down to make the video, uh, the word temple jumped out at me and you have it in this last quote I shared. You also have it in the poem, which is not there. Georgia Dusk in the Turpentine Woods, one of the pillars of the temple fell. So I'm going to say that temple means your ideas of the, your worldview, of how things are, your values, the ideas that you hold sacred. So over here, when he says we build our temples for tomorrow, strong as we know how, and we stand on top of the mountain, free within ourselves, he's talking about, okay, build up your worldview to be that I am black, I'm a black poet, this is what I am, and finding strength and freedom in that. Whereas over here in the poem, when he talks about the temple falling, what he's referring to are the um, white fathers and the white brothers who have the idea um, that, okay, these mulatto uh, bastard boys are just there, but seen and not heard, and actually pretty much ignored. And that temple, the one that says that, okay, those mulatto bastard boys are over there and we have nothing to do with them unless they are serving us or being our slaves or whatever, um, that temple is falling apart. So, uh, yeah, interesting that temple is used both places. So, uh, yeah, so basically connection between these two things is to have freedom, to standing in your strength, you need to stand up and be willing to say, hey, I am this, this is who I am, I am not ashamed of this, I embrace it. And he talks about why that's needed in one, and he shows that being done in the other. So I am doing videos occasionally for my class, and I figured so long as I'm doing that, I may as well just put them on YouTube as part of my coffee and books thing, so that's what I'm doing, yay! <laughs>